coming at you not so live from a cold, snowy part of Canada near Vancouver. As you can tell from my shirt, I'm not real fond of Canadians for slaughtering innocent baby heart seals and then issuing cover-ups by making it illegal to photograph, videotape, and even witness this morally bankrupt activity. I should not be here. I never wanted to come here and I feel guilty about not boycotting Canada. But somebody else paid my way and I was coerced into coming here. Anyway, coming up next, a section that I once called Christian Retaliation. It's long since been called simply Viewer Response. Welcome to Viewer Response. Go ahead, John. Red Fire Witch 666 says, Greetings, good to see you, Beck. Hail Satan. Actually, I'm not Beck or any musician, but I shall give it my best shot. Here goes. Swing on the Here's a message or poem from some idiot called Ponetechet. The Satanists are losers. So stupid. Ha ha ha. They believe in a fake Lord. In the negative energies. In the bad tings. In the darnkes. <laughs> Lost in a fake world. Yet again, some bigot is condemning our pagan heritage. I'll just bet that the Mexican who wrote this is Catholic, which is kind of strange in itself because a lot of Hispanics have Native American blood in them, so isn't their ancestral heritage just as pagan as uh, my European ancestors? Shouldn't the Latinos be on our side? But whatever, you know, it, it all boils down to a theory or a philosophy that I've been developing. It's a concept that I call ancestral nuisance. Basically, the hate mongers from organized religion are always at odds with the ancient cultures that offer an alternative to Middle Eastern mythology. But I'll explain more about my ancestral nuisance premise later. Anyway, for now, another of our interviews with Jason Posey. Great, so any final thoughts about what you think in particular, anything in general, like what you want to go ahead and say about this episode today? Uh, oh, I hope it's educational. I hope we get to see a little bit more of what we do and what we're working towards as a group. We are formally organizing ourselves into a coven and a temple that's still in the processing stages right now, but uh, very soon we will have everything put together. Uh, we're going to have a website. We already have formal membership. And eventually we're going to start having covens outside of Phoenix in other cities and other places. Uh, we are going to start accepting associate level membership over the internet. For more advanced membership, you will have to get into personal contact with an actual member of the coven. However, I do not want to have a group that is simply internet based. Hopefully we'll get to see more of what we're working towards and in the future you're gonna get to see a lot more because uh, we're just gonna keep on, keep on going with this. Okay, well, thank you. I do appreciate your time. Uh, this was Satanic Views number... What number is this today? <laughs> all right. If I used all this, this would be like, what, 25? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I need one question. We're running out of things to talk about. We started goofing off, because I was like, uh... <laughs> my glass broke. Here I am cutting up cardboard to make uh, cones, because I'm going to make a snow cone, because I'm not a skier, and I'm bored out of my mind at this ski resort, and, but we do have lots of snow, so I'm going to make a series of snow cones, and I've got all these different flavors that I've chosen, including strawberry, raspberry, orange, honey, peanut butter, non-dairy creamer, half and half, diet coke, pomegranate juice, red bull, and hemp energy soda. Okay, using raspberry jelly, here I go with my raspberry snow cone. Not bad. Next up, honey. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Amanda fucking Dewire, whose account was suspended, says, May I tell you a dirty little secret? Well, let's rephrase that. I'm going to let you in on a dirty little secret. You look so yummy. <laughs> oh man, why would anybody suspend the account of such a nice young lady? But, uh, no, I don't taste yummy. 
So, was 2002 the year you officially became a full-fledged Satanist? Though I took part in rituals in the 21st century and got more fascinated by the devil stuff during the decade, I don't think I ever claimed to be a Satanist. There's not a single episode of Satanic Views where I actually called myself a Satanist. In the 21st century, I realized that everybody is satanic to somebody else. In addition, there's always some biased, narrow-minded jerk who will say, You're not a real Satanist if you're not exactly like me. So in recent years, I've avoided that useless debate by admitting to be an atheistic prankster who likes heavy metal horror movies and making fun of Christianity. These elements alone make me seem demonic to some people, so I guess Satanism is in the eye of the beholder. It seems that your involvement in the satanic group started dying down in 2008. I still like rock and roll, black clothing, tarantulas, leather jackets, skulls, and pentagrams, but I grew tired of the rituals and superstitious people who take themselves too seriously and fill their heads with a lot of useless information about mumbo-jumbo. Satanism is a tool to me, a way to get people to watch my webcast. If I call this variety series Atheist Views or Agnostic Views, I don't think anyone would watch it. For this final edition of Growing Up Demonic, I have one last question. Is this webcast your satanic calling? I think so, and starting in the next episode, I'm going to document the history of the webcast, Satanic Views. You can see all three of us pretty well? Yeah, I see all three of you. This is orange marmalade. Oh, a little bit of this place. The ice snow sprinkles, and und, here I go. This is really sweet. Oh. Oh, I've had worse. Mmm. Peanut butter. Ready? Yeah. Ah, uh, it looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks really gross. Okay, next snow cone flavor, Diet Coke. Pretty good. For truth, justice, freedom rights, too bad it wasn't the old days. Your neck would have a rope around it and high up in a tree. Sure, those days will come back when we cleanse all the filth from the earth once and for all. The hate monger that wrote that obviously supports ethnic cleansing, and by mentioning the old days, I guess the bigot is condoning lynch mobs and the slaughter of different people and religions. So this ignorant, hateful message reinforces my philosophy of the ancestral nuisance. The ancestral nuisance being an inconvenient truth that not all of us are descended from Judeo-Christian heritage. All right, let's have some half and half See, snow cone. I usually I'd like half and half, but I don't know about on a snow cone. Here goes nothing. I know I'm gonna like this snow cone because it's Diet Red Bull snow cone. Damn good. As a child of the living God most high, I have a question for you. Do you realize how short life is? Do you realize sin is for a season? Then comes the judgment of God Almighty. What shall a man profit if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Satan's end is the lake of fire. Along with death, hell, and the grave, Satan knows his end. Do not be a fool. Repent and make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, my friend. Here we go again. More wannabe indoctrination from a religious fanatic who claims to have all the answers. To Lily's credit, at least she's nice and polite about it. But again, her promotion of a mythical Middle Eastern prophet like Jesus has a thorn in its side. Once more, that thorn is the ancestral nuisance. So face it, not all of us are obsessed with Middle Eastern concepts. I'm proud of my pagan heritage, so it's the same situation. The ancestral nuisance that throws a monkey wrench into that whole Judeo-Christian thing. Now here's a soda I'm unfamiliar with called BC Bud Hemp Energy Soda. It's interesting. <laughs> Michael 616 Joaquin types, do you think dressing like someone from the Matrix is going to help change the image of Satanism or continue perpetuating a myth that we're all assholes? Having grown up on punk rock, gothic culture, and heavy metal, I had this look many years before those stupid, overrated movies came out. I see no reason to throw out my black clothes and leather jackets just because of the Matrix. Okay, Michael Joaquin? Okay, I'm going to get more exotic with my flavors here. Try a new type of snow cone. Mouthwash flavored snow cone. Mm. 
Anywho. Shaving cream flavored snow cone. Oh god. Thanks. Petra Vix Kid writes, You're a pussy dude. If you worship Satan, I do hope you realize that not even worshiping him, Maybe making him your God, God will save you? you? Question mark. In, in the end, end, all who disobey God, God will burn in hell. hell. But, but I am not saying, saying what you do is wrong, wrong. but when, when Satan's fucking, fucking you're in the ass for the rest of eternity, <laughs> you wish you weren't a fag. Also, Lucifer is a mortal pussy with no guts. <laughs> he is a scam artist who can't do the job like a man. He has to lie and trick people to sin. Most of the things you say are retarded, <laughs> like the Bible phrase. Oh, uh, that's the. Ah, uh, oh, forget it. That's enough of this illiterate fool. The guy, like most of the other bigots who unjustly attack us, lacks the guts to use his real name. It's just another attempt to insult us for not having the same upbringing as himself. The accusation this coward left about tricking people to sin once again just draws the line between the religious fanatics like him and atheists like myself. And it's the same old story. Once more, confirming my philosophy of the ancestral nuisance. That's right, it's the same as the ancestral nuisance. S-A-T-A-N. Ha! My favorite flavors are actually the green kind. I like lime flavor and melon flavor. The only green liquid I have is aftershave. So I'll make an aftershave flavored snow cone. Ooh, doesn't that look good? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ew. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, this is nasty. I recommend the aftershave flavor snow cone. Cat Born Again writes. Isaiah 9 6 for unto us a child is born his name shall be the mighty God predicted in the Old Testament 750 years before it happened my only problem with cat born again's message is that the person presents these words as an absolute fact why not simply tag on the words in my opinion as in in my opinion it was predicted in the Old Testament 750 years before it happened these religious extremists insist that we believe their ideas unconditionally and they don't welcome intelligent debate or overwhelming scientific evidence to the contrary well okay and for the grand finale we're gonna do a little snow cone that I like to call the snow cone from Hades Uh, nice juicy one. I like with lots of syrup. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Snow cone from Hades. No, you did not just do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm so gonna throw up. <coughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>